Hi guys, and welcome to What I Eat in a Week. My name is Jasmine Tyler, and I'm a college student who's obsessed with living a healthy and balanced lifestyle. In this video, I tracked all the calories I ate in a week as an intuitive eater, aka someone who doesn't track their calories. I even ate over 3,000 calories on one day, and it was a super fun experiment. As always, I included lots of easy and healthy recipes, so relax, grab a snack, and enjoy this What I Eat in a Week. Hi guys! So before we start this video, I am going to include a trigger warning because I will be discussing calories and my journey with counting calories. And second of all, it would mean the world to me if you'd like and subscribe because I post new videos every single Sunday and sometimes on Fridays too. So I hope you guys are excited to see everything I eat in a week plus the calories for everything I eat as an intuitive eater. And yeah, it's going to be a fun challenge, so let's get on with the video. We're starting the video on Sunday and as always, we have to do a water chug, so grab a glass and chug some with me. Smoothie bowls are my jam and I'll be including this blueberry nice cream recipe in the description because it's my favorite. I did this same calorie counting challenge five months ago for a different YouTube video and both times the most annoying thing about the challenge was how much time I spent each day tracking my meals. I honestly spent up to 40 minutes each day just googling calories and putting it into an app. For example, today's lunch was tacos with eggs, avocado, sausage, and a side salad. I also ate 300 calories of brownie granola off camera. Each component in my meals had to be measured and googled and instead of seeing my food as nutrients and energy, all I saw was numbers. Up until November of 2019, I would track every single calorie I ate to the point where I was terrified of going out to restaurants because I wanted each day of eating to be perfect. Calories had taken the joy of food from me, and it took me months to learn how to eat intuitively, but I did get there eventually. Very fancy. <laughs> oh, that's nice. It's so hot. It's so warm. <laughs> that's hot. Since it's Sunday, today is kind of like a clean out the leftovers day. And a couple days ago, I made a dish called makluba, and it's basically rice, meat, and vegetables turned upside down. So I'm just gonna heat that up for dinner. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna have to go grocery shopping and start to get a little bit more inventive with my meals. Whenever I'm not sure what to eat, rice, veggies, and a source of protein is my go-to because it makes sure that you're having a balanced plate and it's honestly so easy to make. I'm gonna top this makluba with a couple dollops of Greek yogurt, which makes it so creamy and delicious. And finally, some pine nuts for crunch. Beautiful, that's dinner. Mmm. See you guys tomorrow. Quick update, the first bowl wasn't enough for me, so I'm having a second bowl for dinner. Love you guys, oops. <laughs> now it's Monday and I started my day with cookie dough and ice cream. The recipe's in the description box. So back in 2019, the thought of eating seconds was crazy. But today, I understand that if I'm still hungry after a meal, it's a sign that my body requires more food and calories because in the end, calories are a way to measure the energy in food. Food is vitality, it's a source of life. Please never feel guilty for eating seconds or thirds. Choose to see food as a source of life and energy for your beautiful body, and not as a number. After snacking on lots of homemade granola, I started on lunch which was some sweet potatoes air fried with coconut oil and cinnamon. This is such a good flavor combination and I paired it with a tofu scramble that was sauteed with lots of spices like cinnamon, cumin, salt, pepper, and curry. I never measure spices, just go with your heart. This lunch was fully vegan and I served it with a side salad and half an avocado. During this challenge, I realized that most of my meals are around 700 calories and my snacks range from 2 to 400 calories. It's interesting because I don't purposefully aim for this number, but after over a year of intuitive eating, my body has learned the portion sizes that work for me. So most days, my calories hover around 2400 calories, give or take a couple hundred. This dinner was rice, veggies, and chicken by the way. Super simple and delicious. Now it's Tuesday and I started my morning with a 7am Pilates class. So, in November of 2019, I decided I decided to stop counting calories and start intuitive eating, but I'm not gonna lie, I was terrified. I thought that the second I let go of my control over food, I would lose all my fitness progress and eat like 5,000 calories a day. And at first, I didn't know how to listen to my body. It took me months to heal and learn how to truly enjoy food. But as you can see, nowadays I don't count my calories and I intuitively eat around the same portion sizes every day. My body has finally found balance. But today I drove to the suburbs. Cause you are in around And I just can't imagine You're in the sun, 
But anyway, yes, I know that it can be scary to stop tracking your meals and trust your body. I've been there. But learning how to see food as fuel and not as a number was the most life-changing thing in the world for me. Let me know in the comments if you want me to film a separate video on how to start intuitive eating because I definitely will if you want me to. Today's lunch was brown rice, steamed veggies, leftover chicken, and peanut sauce, which I included the recipe for in the description box. This upped my total calories to 1380 so far, and then I snacked on one cup of fresh berries while I did schoolwork, and I totally failed at catching them in my mouth. Also, let me introduce you to an elevated way of making eggs and avocado toast with a magical spice called turmeric. Turmeric is anti-inflammatory, and I love sprinkling it over eggs with some salt and pepper. When turmeric is heated up, it actually turns red, and I served these eggs with avocado toast in a mountain of salad, and it was a delicious dinner. Now it's Wednesday, and I'm the smoothie bowl monster, so you know I had some cookie dough and ice cream for breakfast. Something else I want to address is how counting calories can make you restrict healthy fats. I load all my smoothie bowls with homemade brownie granola, and granola is naturally calorie dense because it has lots of oil and nut butter in it. And in 2019, I would never snack on this granola because all the fats made it pretty calorie dense. However, remember that the calories in food represent the energy it gives you, and healthy fats are so nutritionally dense and energizing. Fats make you glow, they're good for your brain, and your body needs them. I snacked on one of these blueberry muffins today, which was around 400 calories. 400 calories of a delicious, delightful muffin, which gave me lots of energy, and most importantly, it gave me happiness. And this wouldn't be a what I eat in a week video without me making vegan curry for dinner. This recipe is linked in the description, and it was shown in Zac Efron's Netflix documentary, which is super cool. <laughs> Seva serenaded us with his guitar while I added some roasted squash and sweet potato to a pan and then topped it with coconut milk and canned beans and simmered that for a few minutes. I also added some steamed green beans and served the curry with a side of rice. Delightful. Then we all decided to do a cold plunge in my pool followed by some jacuzzi time. He's so cold. Ah! Okay. Ah! Now it's jacuzzi time. Where does the chin thing? I'm gonna thing... do a cold, a cold plunge. Where does the chin thing come from? Maluma, Maluma baby. Maluma does that? Maluma baby. I thought it was a beaver thing. Okay, I'm telling her I want the pressure of the camera on me, so I can like you know. Do the cold plunge. You have to do it, like or else I'm not. Okay, do I'm it. Send it. And that was it for Wednesday with a total of 2,500 calories for the day. On Thursday, I did another 7 a.m. Pilates class and lately, I've only been working out twice a week because an old knee injury that occurred in 2019 due to me under eating and over exercising has been acting up. Then it was back to some blueberry ice cream with brownie granola for breakfast and I convinced Seva to film a TikTok with me. Okay. So, I'm gonna walk up right here, Yeah. Some swag. Look at the camera, pose. But your and underwear, go pose, no! And I'm gonna go. <laughs> You're not showing your underwear. Then I had leftover curry and rice for lunch, and I ended up eating this curry so much this week because it created tons of leftovers. It's perfect for meal prep when I'm busy with school. I also snacked on lots of berries and another delicious blueberry muffin. Then I was craving a good old fashioned burger for dinner, and funny story, my parents were going out to dinner tonight, so my brother and I were gonna eat these burgers at home. But then Seva realized that we had no ketchup at home, so he decided to go out to dinner with my parents because he can't stand the thought of burgers without ketchup. He's so extra. I served my burger with goat cheese, mustard, and salad, and now it's Friday, so it's time for cookie dough and ice cream. No surprise here. To be honest, I thought I would fall back into an unhealthy mentality during this challenge because it's difficult to track everything you eat. But I truly didn't mind tracking my calories, and I was even fascinated when I ate more calories on some days and less on the others. It just goes to show that your body requires different amounts of food on different days, and even when counting calories, the numbers in food don't bother me anymore. I'm really proud of the progress I've made. After a lunch of vegan curry and snacking on lots of dark chocolate, I made some vegan pesto sauce for dinner to pair it with pasta and veggies. The recipe's in the description box. I topped the pasta with some pine nuts for crunch, and this day totaled to 2,308 calories. Now it's Saturday, which is the last day in this what I eat in a week. Cookie dough and ice cream first thing, and spoiler alert, on this day, I ended up eating over 3,000 calories. And you know what? By the end of this day, I felt fantastic and happy, and I think my body just wanted more food today, and that's okay. I met 
up with a friend to get some poke for lunch and I loaded my bowl with raw tuna, rice, lettuce, pineapple, and avocado. We ate the poke on the beach and had a nice little picnic and then we jumped in the freezing ocean which isn't super freezing but I'm used to the hot weather in Los Cabos so it was pretty cold for me. This was such a relaxing and invigorating way to spend the weekend and when I got home I was feeling super hungry so I snacked on a blueberry muffin and then I snacked on lots of dark chocolate which put my total calorie count up to 2050. And since it was the weekend I made another batch of Macluba for dinner and I'll link the recipe I use in the description. It starts with lots of olive oil, tomatoes, spiced ground beef, and then you're gonna pack that in tight so it preserves its shape. Next, add some roasted veggies, and my favorite is zucchini, but it's traditionally made with eggplant. Top that with rice, pack it in, and pour water over everything. 50 minutes later, it was ready to flip. No! <laughs> oh well. It sadly fell apart, but still tasted amazing. I had two big bowls, which added a thousand calories to my day, and I ended this Saturday feeling so nourished and satisfied. We did it, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, please let me know in the comments what you thought of it and what videos you want to see next. This video was super requested, and honestly, it was so much fun to film. It was a little bit annoying to have to write down everything I ate, and it was a major throwback back to 2019 and 2018 when I would track the calories for absolutely everything I ate, but it was honestly really refreshing to count my calories again but this time with a more balanced mentality and I found that counting the calories didn't affect what I ate it was just a super fun experiment and it just made me so much more grateful to realize that calories don't control my life anymore and like I said if you guys want me to film a more in-depth video on how to start intuitive eating or how to stop calorie counting just let me know in the comments and I'll definitely film a video like that for you guys so yeah that's pretty much it for this video I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next Sunday with my next YouTube video love you